Nothing. OS 2.6. September security patch of 0.96 gigs has been released, bringing several improvements to the Nothing devices. As usual with firmware updates, the rollout is done in stages, meaning not all users will receive it at the same time. This staggered release helps to monitor any issues and ensures a smooth and stable update process. Let's delve into the new features that Nothing OS 2.6 has for users. One of the standout features is the new News Reporter widget, which allows daily news stories to be read aloud by Tim, Nothing CFO. It's important to note that this feature is still in beta and uses generative AI models, which may sometimes behave unexpectedly. Welcome to Nothing News where we fill the void with the latest update. Additionally, the update brings new widgets. The battery and pedometer widgets can now appear on both the lock screen and the always-on display, making it easier to access essential information. The date widget has also been enhanced to support automatic updates, which can be enabled in the settings. Another useful feature is the ability to swipe down on incoming notifications to view them in a pop-up window, allowing users to access information without leaving the app they're using. This feature can be activated through the settings. Users can now delete their wallpaper history in Wallpaper Studio, and new notifications in the Charging Assistant have been added to keep them informed about charging status. Several improvements have been made with this update. The 2x zoom in portrait mode has better clarity, and compatibility issues with certain chargers have been optimized. Google Mobile services have been updated, and audio delays in certain call scenarios have been fixed. The stability of Bluetooth connectivity has been improved, and vibration has been enabled in power saving mode. Additionally, a number of bugs have also been fixed in the Nothing OS 2.6 update. An issue that caused auto-rotation to fail in certain cloned apps has been resolved, and the Media Player widget can now play music when switching between guest and main user accounts. The Bluetooth tile now reflects the correct earbud information, and a screen flickering problem that occurred when long pressing the power button during low battery levels has been addressed. A system crash issue related to window animations has been fixed and the atmosphere wallpaper effect now displays correctly on the lock screen. Lastly, improvements have been made to the launcher to enhance overall system stability. But still, some issues are yet to be fixed. A nothing phone user, Ami Sidu, reported some problems even after updating the device to nothing OS 2.6. He mentioned that the black wallpaper on the lock screen appears with a greenish tint. On the home screen, the same black wallpaper causes the status bar to appear dull white, with no clear explanation as to why. Different wallpapers have been tried, but each one exhibits various color glitches. This update also implies that the release of Nothing OS 3 will be delayed potentially by at least three months. There's also the possibility that Nothing might choose to launch Nothing OS 3 alongside the release of Nothing Phone 3. So, what are your thoughts on this latest update? If you're a Nothing user, have you installed it? How has your experience been so far? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Peace out.